Thanks for coming out. Uh, defensively, obviously, uh, we lost the game to Baylor and we let them score 38 points. However, this was one of our better games that we've performed defensively, um, especially the secondary. The secondary was challenged this week with uh, coming out and playing better, and they, they stepped up to the plate. I mean, Baylor does have talented people playing a receiver at number nine. He's a really good receiver. Um, and JT Blassingham gave him, you know, he came down with some balls, but JT Blassingham was covering him very tight the whole entire game. Um, all of our safeties played very well, and our defensive line was amazing this week. Um, most of my success, if any success that I have, comes from the defensive line being able to keep blockers from touching me, and then that allows me to hunt and just be able to play football. So they had a really good game, and that's whenever I hear, whenever I hear my stats, that's that's a reflection of them being able to do their job and doing it to the best of their ability. Um, we have North Texas this week. We have the same exact goals. Like Coach has said, that all of our goals are still intact. It's a conference game. There's not much more to be said, as Trey said. Um, we need to come out there and try to start our side of our division so that we can be able to put ourselves to be able to play in a conference championship uh, come December. Well, holding Baylor to zero points, I mean, how many teams have you, other teams have you heard you, uh, you guys think about that? Like just how I mean, I, I think so. It's covered like a 24-hour rule. That game was in the past. You know, at the time, you know, they still ended up at the end of the game when the clock says 0-0 zero, zero at 38 points. So just because we hold them for zero points for the first half, or for the first quarter, excuse me, and then they scored a couple points there in the second half um, for them to win the game, you know, you want to have it where they have zero points the whole entire game. So. Was it a breakthrough? Yes, I think so. I think we, we finally, you know, took a step forward. We finally took a step forward into the right direction of saying that, you know, we can be a really great difference. And we showed um, we showed that example of that in the first half. So now I think, the, you know, the standard has been set and we have to continue to elevate that standard to see what's next that we can do, what's, what's better that we can do. For sure, definitely. Definitely. That was one of the bigger things that we did see. Um, as a defense, North Texas, uh, we played them first last year before we played Baylor. One of the things that they had last year was they, that they moved very, very fast. They're a very fast-paced, up-tempo offense. And so for us, it's making sure that we can be able to get lined up, get set up, and be able to um, play our defensive schemes to match their um, fast-paced tempo. Because if we can be able to do that, then we'll be able to shut down a lot of their um, plays. You guys also talk about trying to win, start winning the turnover battle, get a couple more interceptions, things like that. Just how much that can kind of change out with this defense? Right. Um, yeah, definitely. Coach Coach Thurman stresses that all the time. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. He says it at least 10 times of practice, just screaming that. And I think he saw that when JT got that interception, I mean, it, it, you felt the atmosphere in the stadium that, you know, hey, we, you know, we just, you know, took a turnover. Now we gave an our offense opportunity for them to go put points on the board. So I think, especially being at home and then just in general for every game from now on, we're going to try to get uh, much more interceptions.